in the constricted section of a rectangular channel there is a raised flow if we know the upstream depth and the downstream depth can we calculate the discharge passing through this rectangular channel let us find out in a rectangular channel width is reduced from 3 meters to 2.5 meters and the floor is raised by 0.15 meters in the constricted section the depth of flow is 2 meters at the upstream section and drop in the water surface elevation at the constricted section is 0 0.10 meters what is the discharge in the channel we know the upstream depth we know the height of the raised flow we also know the drop in the elevation at the constricted section now can we calculate the discharge passing through this rectangular channel right okay to obtain the discharge we will use the continuity equation as well as the energy equation now discharge is equal to area multiplied by velocity and area of a rectangular channel is width multiplied by depth now from the continuity equation we can say q1 is equal to q2 and therefore b1 into y1 into v1 is equal to b2 into y2 into v2 so in terms of v1 we can say v1 is equal to b2 multiplied by y2 multiplied by v2 divided by b1 into y1 right now total energy of a flowing fluid per unit weight is the sum of elevation head pressure head and velocity head it can be expressed in this way e is equal to z plus y plus v square by 2g since we are neglecting uh, any energy loss we can say energy at section 1 is equal to energy at section 2 so z1 plus y1 plus v1 square by 2g is equal to z2 plus y2 plus v2 square by 2g now z2 is equal to z1 which is the bed elevation at upstream section plus delta z this is actually delta z so z2 is equal to z1 plus delta z therefore we can uh, write the above equation in this form z1 plus y1 plus v1 square divided by 2g is equal to z1 plus delta z plus y2 plus v2 square by 2g so instead of z2 we are writing z1 plus delta z right now uh, uh, keeping the velocity head terms on the left hand side we will get equation of this form v2 square divided by 2g minus v1 square divided by 2g is equal to y1 minus y2 minus delta z now we are replacing v1 with this term b2 into y2 multiplied by v2 divided by b1 into y1 so replacing v1 by uh, the, the terms given in the right hand side of this equation we will get equation of this form and finally we can rearrange and uh, obtain this equation of velocity head at section 2 v2 square divided by 2g is equal to y1 minus y2 minus delta z divided by 1 minus b2 y2 divided by b1 y1 whole square okay so we'll be using this equation and also the uh, equation of discharge to obtain the discharge passing through this channel okay all we need to do is uh, calculate velocity first then discharge can be easily obtained now width at section 1 is 3 meters width at section 2 is 2.5 meters height of the raised flow is 0.15 meters and drop in elevation of the water surface is 0 0.10 meters 
depth at the upstream section okay depth at section 1 it is uh, 2 meters so y2 will be equal to 1.75 meters y2 is equal to y1 minus the height of the raised flow delta z minus the drop in elevation so y2 is 1.75 meters then we can obtain velocity head at section 2 using this equation that we derived from the energy equation right we replaced v1 with these terms okay b2 y2 divided by b1 y1 okay multiplied by v2 so we got equation of this form so using this equation we obtain velocity head at section 2 it is equal to 0.214 meters now we can easily obtain velocity at section 2 v2 is equal to square root of 2 into 9.81 meters per second square multiplied by 0 0.214 right so we can easily obtain velocity at section 2 it is equal to 2.047 meters per second okay and once we know velocity at section 2 we can easily calculate velocity at section 1 using this equation b2 y2 multiplied by v2 divided by b1 by 1 right so velocity at section 1 is 1.492 now let us calculate the discharge discharge is b into y into v so we can either use b1 y1 v1 or b2 y2 v2 so let us first use b2 into y2 into v2 now b2 is 2.5 multiplied by y2 uh, is 1.75 multiplied by v2 which is 2.047 meters per second so we have obtained the discharge it is 8.955 meter cube per second we will obtain the same value of discharge if we use uh, y1 b1 and v1 so q is equal to 3 multiplied by y1 which is 2 meters multiplied by v1 v1 is 1.492 meters per second so discharge is 8.955 meter cube per second So, if we know the upstream depth, if we know the height of the raised flow and the drop in the elevation of water surface, we can calculate discharge okay, using uh, continuity equation and energy equations. Right? 